Okay, so bullions are totally the direction you can go. Uh, you can also, I'm just gonna take this bad boy here real quick. Let's dynamesh it. Okay, cool. And I'm really only gonna need like, I don't know, that much of it probably. Uh, delete hidden, fill the holes. Okay, cool. Uh, so there's that, but these knife tools, these are gonna kind of give you um, kind of an edge up too. So knife curve works pretty well. I mean, you can use life lasso, but this will give us kind of a, in and out kind of thing, right? So boom, it'll cut straight across there. Cause I know you got that, that bow part or the handle part, right? So there's that, um, and then bullions. So here's a really cool thing that they have in here. Okay, comma. We're gonna go up to spotlight, and then we've got all these over here to kind of play with. Um, I don't remember which ones are which, but they've got all kinds of cool shapes that live inside of here, right? So whoops, hit Z so I can move these around. Um, let's say, kind of looking at yours, we got some kind of triangle ones. Let's actually see if we can find, oh, this one will work. So I'm just gonna grab this guy, uh, push the rest of those off, grab this, we'll make this a little bit larger. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit Z so I can use this. Um, I'm gonna create Boolean shapes with this. And within my geometry, whoops, sorry, subtools, I'm gonna be paying attention to what's going on in here. Now, when I create one of these things, what's gonna do is it's gonna take the thickness of this. Wow, that is really thick <laughs> for a drawing tool, right? So it's gonna take the thickness of that when it creates the new one. Um, so I'm gonna hit C, so this comes back up. What we want um, are this guy right here, so the snapshot 3D. So, and ideally, yeah, so if I hit this, what it's going to do, oh, I have to have one selected. <laughs> Let's make this a little bit smaller here. So I have it selected, um, then hit that one, right? So what it's done, hit Z here, so it's created a new shape, which is awesome. So now I can just kind of move that into place, and if I make it a little bit wider, it'll punch through it, right? So the thickness of the object that you have selected, the new subtool becomes that thick. But what we can also do here is that with this, right, I'm gonna hold down uh, the Alt key on the keyboard and I'll click and hit it and you'll see that immediately it's already made it subtractive. So now, if I turn on my live Boolean, all I have to do is just kind of move this thing into place and we'll get rid of that on screen, right? So now it's already just gonna cut through it, which is awesome. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down the Alt key and I'm gonna click and drag, sorry, Control and click and drag and create a duplicate of it. Just rotate it 180, set it into place. Now this is two pieces that are all in one subtool. And what I'm gonna do is clear the mask. And then if I shrink these down like so, bring everything back. Oh, I do want them wider. So they're gonna punch all the way through, right? So you can see they're punching all the way through. And then this is, I love this tool, right? Whoops, let's push this over here. So I'm gonna hold control, click, I'm gonna drag. I'm gonna to continue to hold with my mouse let go of the control key and I'm gonna keep pulling and it'll just make duplicates that are all gonna be the same uh, distance apart, right? So I'll clear the mask, get rid of that. And now I can put this thing in there however I want and you can kind of get that shape. Um, so one way to kind of duplicate those really quickly. Um, and of course, all you have to do is, let's hit this button. Where are you at? There's a way to organize these tile of these guys. So any of these, you can make these in Photoshop too. Like you can totally do that. You can make masks from here instead of ZBrush if you want to do that. Uh, but there's a whole host of these things that live up here in the spotlight, right? There's just a whole bunch of them. Like there's some really cool ones in here. Like you don't even have to do a lot of work. Hey, there's a round one right there, right? So yeah, hopefully that helps because that's totally the direction I would go with that. Um, as far as actually creating the bow, um, you can actually create, um, take it into Photoshop, get a, um, a negative of it so that it's white and not black, and then use that the same way that I just did, and you actually create the positive of it too. Um, if you want to go that route, otherwise you could, you know, kind of sketch out that outside edges of it with all kinds of other tools. But yeah, this is totally the direction I would go with it. So hopefully that helps, man.